Hey, what's up, folks? I was just on Christina Clark's podcast, and I was talking a little bit about how I believe that the internet has made college obsolete. And I wanted to, to make that video its own topic. I wanted to expound on that a little bit. So uh, before, I, before I begin, I want to offer a little disclaimer, and that is that I'm just some random guy on the internet. So, uh, you know, if you're maybe you're in high school, maybe you're t trying to figure out whether to go to college, whether that's the right choice for your life, just keep in mind that um, what I say is not gospel. You know, a lot of people think I look like Jesus, but I assure you that I'm not. So take what I say with a grain of salt. And also, um, if you're going, to, if you your dream in life is to be a doctor or a lawyer or a CPA or some sort of profession that requires a college degree by law for you to practice that profession, then um, then this what I have to say in this video is not applicable to you. So. With that out of the way, um, first of all, I want to tell you what my personal experience with college is. Um, I was raised in a middle class family, and the middle class in the U.S., in case you didn't know, is completely obsessed with college. They were completely in love with it, and if you say that you are don't think that college is a good deal, that's pretty much uh, heresy to the middle class mindset. So that's the background that I'm coming from. So I, I went to, um, you know, I, I finished school. Um, got good grades, I got accepted into college, and I went to college, I got my bachelor's degree, I graduated almost on time, uh, which is, you know, impressive for the college that I was at. And then uh, I graduated in 2010, which was the height of the recession after the housing bubble, and I went a full year without being able to find a real job. I mean, I had some stupid little part-time jobs, like as a waiter's assistant. That's right, I wasn't even a full waiter, I was a waiter's assistant. Um, and so I was, I was completely miserable for a year. And then uh, after going that, through that for a year, I decided, and this is my brilliant middle, middle class logic again, that since four years of college had not served me at all, that the best thing to do was to go to college again for another two years. So I went and got my master's degree. Um, and so uh, after that, I didn't mind to find a job. It was kind of a crappy job. And uh, ironically, I found that job mostly on the strength of a skill I had learned called uh, SQL, Structured Query Language, which is uh, like a programming thing that I had learned online. I didn't learn in, in college at all. For all six years of college, they never even mentioned SQL. But I learned, I taught myself online in about two hours for a, with a free online course, and that's what got me my first job. So, um, I did that. I, I was normal corporate desk drone for a while. I did that for a few years. Decided that that's not really what I wanted to do with my life. And so, um, you know, I, I quit working for the corporate job and I'm uh, kind of working on my own now. But anyway, so that's my experience with college. Basically, six years of, of time and a lot of money down the drain with basically nothing to show for it. So, um, in my opinion, I, I'm trying to like diagnose what the problems with college are. Uh, I think probably a long time ago, like when my parents' generation, when they were my age, I think college was a reasonably good guarantee that you would get a good job. Just because not that many people went to college, there's only like one third of that generation went to college compared to two thirds of my generation. So they, um, you know, they were actually setting themselves apart, whereas now they're, they're not setting themselves apart at all. That's just the normal thing to do. Um, College is also extremely bureaucratic, and what that means is that anything in the college curriculum is necessarily out of date. So, if there's um, something, if something, a new topic makes its way into a college curriculum, you can be pretty sure that it's at least 20 years out of date by the time it finally filters its way down to the college curriculum. So, you know, the world is moving faster and faster all the time. Uh, the, the skills, the skill churn essentially is getting is getting higher and higher so now more than ever the skills that you learn in college are obsolete because college just is not equipped to keep up right it's just too bureaucratic for to be able to keep up with what's actually relevant in today's marketplace um, I'm a big believer that you should learn from the people who have already done what you want to do who have been successful at doing what you want to do and think about for a minute if you're learning from college professors what are you learning College professor is a middle class profession. These are people who went to college like their middle class parents told them they should, and then when they were when they graduated, they didn't really know what to do with themselves, so they went back to college. And then when they graduated again, they didn't really know what to do with themselves, 
So they went back to college again, and then when they graduated with their PhDs, there wasn't really any more college to go to, so the, the only thing, they, they still didn't know what to do with themselves, so they decided, oh, okay, well, I'll just stay in college and teach, right? These are the people that you're learning from. These are middle-class people that are teaching you, that are indoctrinating you into middle-class habits and middle-class beliefs and middle-class thinking, and so maybe, if you're lucky, uh, the, the, your college will get you a middle-class job. So if you want to learn to be something above the middle class, then chances are it would be better to learn from somebody who isn't a middle class professor, but more on that later. Um, and now, actually, uh, I, I said that, that colleges indoctrinate you into middle class thinking. Well, when I went to college, that was true. Now it's gotten even worse. Now colleges are indoctrinating kids into poor, low class thinking, right? It's, the colleges are rife with this. They say. They, they say that uh, anybody who's successful is successful because of privilege, and anybody who is not successful is unsuccessful because of, uh, of discrimination or poor circumstances in life or, or oppression, something like that, right? It's absolutely toxic ideology to anyone who wants to be successful because it teaches you to blame your circumstances for your results in life, and it teaches you that you can't do anything, that you are powerless, you are just a victim of your circumstances. So college is absolutely toxic. It will poison your mind, if you, especially these uh, colleges nowadays that teach everybody to be victims and teach everyone to blame somebody else for their shortcomings and uh, to not believe that it's possible to do better. So um, it seems like, I mean, it seems like, and the college, the college prices are going up like crazy. It's the, the, the fastest growing in terms of price, the fastest growing industry in the country, in the USA at least, probably the rest of the world too. So as the quality gets worse and worse, the prices get higher and higher. So it gets to be a worse and worse deal, right? And eventually middle class people are finally going to wake up to this, right? This is going to happen eventually. And then the college model is going to completely collapse unless they do something drastic to, uh, to change what they've been doing. Um, now, I want to compare that with the, that which uh, my mentor Myron Golden calls miseducation, the formal education system or the miseducation system. I want to compare that with what he calls true education, which is the education that's available to you through a whole bunch of other channels, especially the internet, that it can be contrasted with uh, the miseducation system. For one thing, um, the best professors in the world are available to you now. It didn't used to be that way, right? That uh, you basically, if you go to college, you you get stuck with ever with with whichever professor the college happened to hire, and uh, excuse me, no, whichever with whichever professor the college happened to hire, and whichever professor happens to be available for your time schedule, right? That's what you're stuck with in college, and chances are you're going to get a pretty mediocre professor as a result. Well. With the advent of the internet, now you have access to the best professors in the world, right? I mean, I started listening a few years ago. I started listening to Jordan Peterson, who is a psychology professor at the University of Toronto. And he's, his lectures are so amazing. They're so fascinating that now he's getting millions and millions of views on YouTube, right? He's putting all his lectures for free on YouTube. And so um, he's getting millions of views. And so now I can watch a professor from a different country that I wouldn't have never had access to had I gone to college. Um, now I can watch his lectures for free. I can learn from his lectures for free rather than the, the mediocre, no-name professor at my local college, right? Um, so that's, that's a growing trend. And from his part, right, now he was a, a regular professor at a regular college, but now he's getting millions of views at YouTube as opposed to teaching a class of 30, 40 students Right? Why is he going to stay at the college when he can expand his reach exponentially as a result of the internet? So now the best professors are leaving the college because the college model just doesn't work for them the way that the internet does. Um, anybody who is accomplished in life, anybody who is who has done a lot, anybody who's making a lot of money, is not going to work for a college professor's salary. Right? I mean, I don't know what they make. Probably a hundred thousand dollars little more, a little less, uh, but somebody who's been highly successful in life is just not going to be willing to work for that, right? They, uh, they love to teach, right? People who are successful love to teach people, 
how they were successful and to teach people to follow in their footsteps. And they teach it all the time, but they teach it in ways that are scalable, ways that can make them money. So the way they teach is through online courses, through books, through audio courses, things that they can sell infinitely and make a lot of money from, or in some cases through very expensive mentorship programs, right? So these are the people who are accomplished and that is how to reach them is through scalable means or through paying them a lot of money through mentorship programs. But the middle class mentality is such, and I, I go over this, um, I, I created this uh, a special report with my mentor Myron Golden, it's called The 11 Biggest Mistakes Middle Class People Make That Keep Them From Becoming Rich. It's all about how the same things that protect middle class people from making the same stupid mistakes that poor people make that keep them poor, well, the middle class people don't make those mistakes, but the same protective me mechanisms that keep them from making those mistakes also keep them from ever accomplishing very much in their life. It keep them stuck in that sort of middle class limbo. So um, I'll, I'll put a link below to that if you're interested in that. But um, the fact is that middle class people are uh, will spend fifty thousand dollars in four years of their lives on a college curriculum that you know maybe in the seventies would have gotten them an okay middle class job and today probably gets them absolutely nothing, right? But they won't spend five hundred dollars on a course from somebody who has made millions of dollars who can teach them to make millions of dollars. It's just the way the middle class mindset is because they're so skeptical of anything that's too good to be true, right? You tell someone you can spend this enormous amount of work and enormous amount of money to get a job that will make you in a little bit of amount of money and they're like okay that makes sense right but you say oh you can spend this five hundred dollars thousand dollars two thousand dollars this kind of negligible amount of money to learn how to make a lot of money and they just dismiss it it's not within their reality they can't they, they don't even consider it because they don't believe that it could be true it's just too good to be true for them so they miss out on all the best opportunities in life I mean as a mental exercise, think about if you spend $50,000 and four years of your life in college, uh, well, think about what if you hadn't done that? What if you kept that $50,000 and invested it in online education, in real education, in books, and you spent that four years of your life teaching yourself, building a business, you know, spending that money on your business? How much further in life would you be if you had made that decision instead of spending it on college, right? Um, if, if you have an idea, write in the comments, you know, tell me how, what do you think you would have done with your life if you had done that instead of going to college? I mean, I went, I spent six years in college and a lot of money and went into debt over it. Um, and I, I, I can only imagine how far, how much further I would have gotten in life had I, had I not made that decision and instead kept that money and used it for something useful. So, um, if you're going, if you've gone to college, if you did go to college, um, I want to hear your opinion. Uh, if you went to college or you didn't, if you went to college, tell me, how has it served you, right? Has it gotten you a good job? Has it helped you start a business? Has it, has it just been a complete waste and now you're stuck in debt, right? Whatever it is, tell me, tell me how has it worked for you? Because I like to get other people's opinions on it too. And if you haven't gone to college, uh, what do people what do people think about you? Like what do people say? Do people tell you that that you have to go to college or else there's no hope for you in life? Or uh, do they tell you that that it is a good decision not to go to college and you should be, you know, find better ways to use your time and money? I'm curious what people have told you, what kind of feedback you've gotten. So write that in the comments, whatever it is. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like Please subscribe to my channel and please share it with somebody who you think needs to hear this or share it on your social media. Um, I love to get people's opinions and I love to, uh, to hear from you and um, share it with other people who, who it might benefit. So um, yeah, follow me, subscribe to the channel and I will, I will be making all sorts of content like this in the near future. So that's it for today. You guys have an awesome day. I'll see you soon.